Step 5. Adding Material Parameters Please take a look at the parameter list in the GDL master window and note that it contains many parameters that are not in use. These are standard window parameters that are used in all ARCHICAD library window objects. At this stage, we'd like to use only the frame material parameter for the traceries, so let's hide the unnecessary ones from the list. Hide each parameter on the list with the hide parameter icon except A, B, GS underscore window underscore material and GS underscore frame underscore mat. We'll use the GS underscore frame underscore material variable for the mullion material. If you wish, you can change the parameter name from frame material to mullion or tracery material. Let's open the 3D script which describes the 3D model in GDL format. We have to modify the GDL code in order to use the material parameter instead of the fixed material values stored in the script. In the 3D script window, you can explore the GDL description of the slabs that we use to model the window on the floor plan. All we have to do now is to substitute the material names with the variable name of the material parameter. Manual substitution of all material names with parameters would be time consuming, so we'll use the find and replace command that can do this job automatically. Activate the edit find and replace command. Enter stn marble white in the upper field of the dialog and gs underscore frame underscore material in the bottom one. Click on the replace all button. Now the 3D script is referring to the frame parameter for material definitions. Let's test the result of our changes. Click on the 3D view button to see the object in the 3D window. You can orbit in this window if you activate the view orbit command. The rose window is displayed with wood material, which is the current value of the frame material parameter. Close the 3D window and set the STN marble white or number 6 for the frame material parameter. Open the 3D view again and check the result of the parameter changes.